Hey guys, day two of training down. It was kind of boring for me today because again, I had most of my work done and I just had to do a few little things and everybody else was still catching up and stuff. But tomorrow our actual training starts, so I'll be busier tomorrow. So I'll make the day go by quicker because I find when I'm busier, the day goes by quicker. I got a package from Amazon today. Um, Don't mind the mess of my countertop, but it's this little pad that goes under the KitchenAid and it's grippy on one side and it's just flat and cushioned on the other and it makes sliding the KitchenAid so much easier because normally the KitchenAid goes bump 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 but now it doesn't so I like that I also got another package from Shoppers Drug Mart today and I'm going to show you guys that right quick um yeah, it's in the bedroom, so I want to be able to take boxes and throw them out and stuff, so I figure I'll show it to you guys really quick right now. Tigger woke us up this morning really early, trying to get in the bedroom. He's not allowed in here because of my office is in here. Plus, if you can see over there, Mike and the pets got me daisies for Mother's Day, so, and he's not allowed to have them. Anyway, let me show you guys what I got from Shoppers Drug Mart, so I can put the stuff away. Okay, so I got this. It's a peel, so I got that. And I got this Wee Juicy Couture perfume sample. Okay, and then what I ordered, I ordered the Elf. This is at Walmart now, but I was putting in an order for Shoppers anyway. So it's the Elf Camo CC Cream. <coughs> excuse me which I've wanted to try for a while and I also have the it cosmetics one so I want to try them side by side I love the powder one of this it's awesome so now I can throw that box away I ordered a Kylie lip kit because I didn't know shopper Drug Mart sold Kylie cosmetics so it's a lot cheaper to get them this way so it's the lip kit. It's just the original lip kits, but I think she reformulated them. It's in the color Kylie Mesh. It's like kind of like this color, like a mauvey pink color. So <clears throat> I got that. And then I couldn't, I had uh, $40 in points too. So I got $40 off this order. Plus I ended up getting another $40 in points just from ordering this stuff. So I cashed in some points and ended up getting them back. I got the Urban... I haven't bought an Urban Decay, like a full-size palette in a long time. But this one intrigued me. The colors are so pretty for spring and summer. So it's the Wild Greens. And I know this has mixed reviews, but I wanted it. So I got it. But these... Yeah, these corals and greens and browns are going to be really pretty. I don't like the packaging. I don't like that it opens that way, but... Beggars can't be choosy. And then I got all these freebies. Look at this. That's crazy. That's a lot of freebies. And a lot of them are like bigger sizes. Or, and there's a couple of like full size products. So let's just, I'll go through them with you guys really quick, okay? So I got... Honest Makeup Remover Wipes. There's seven. They have grapeseed and olive oils. I'm going to put all this away after I'm done anyway. I got an e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. That's full size, obviously. I got Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion. Got some Listerine. That's not that exciting, but... I got Shea Moisture. It's okay, Mike. Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I got Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I don't like this stuff that much, but you know what? I use this for makeup brushes or sponges, so that's how I'll get used out of this. I got the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. I'll use that. I know it's for curly hair, but you know what? I'll still use it. I don't care. Uh, I got the Rock Retinol Complexion Line Smoothing Eye Cream. Is this the last one? Nope. I got, what is this? 
Marcel Skin Caring 2-in-1 Soothing Foundation and Concealer. Uh, I don't know about the colors. We'll have to look at that more closely later. I got Aveeno Positive Re Radiant Exfoliating Body Wash. Like, <laughs> this, this stuff never ends. I got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. And I got Nivea Cream. It's just for like a resin moisturizer for the whole family. So that's quite a bit of samples. Thanks, Shoppers Drug Mart. I appreciate that. Anyway, I'm going to, I don't know if I'm putting this away right now or if I'm just going to put it on my desk and work on it tomorrow. But that's what I got in my haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm, I'm going to sign off for tonight because I'm tired and it's like going on 8 o'clock. So I'm going to be getting ready soon to just hop into bed and watch TV for a bit before I start a new day tomorrow. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, it's Saturday. Technically, I normally have a vlog up on Saturdays, but I just... Yesterday when I was finished work, I vlogged a little bit on Wednesday or Thursday. I think it was Wednesday. And then... I, uh, when I've been finishing work, I get off at 5.30, so I'm usually just kind of worn out and I don't feel like doing it. So today, I'm going to vlog today. I have a few things that I want to capture for you guys, and uh, I'm going to put this one up for Sunday. So, I got a few things in the mail this week, so I figured I would share that first of all. So... I ordered a pack of mouse pads on Amazon. These came really quick. It really was two-day shipping with these. So they're just like, they have like marble prints on them. Not marble like the comics, marble. So I got this one. And I got this one. And they were like $10 for both of them. And... I got the window open today because it's nice and I want some fresh air in the bedroom. I've been in here working all week and I just find it stuffy. Um, Mike had to fix the bed today because when we moved, whoever put it together didn't put it together correctly. And there was a twisted bolt. So he had to get a new bolt. Okay, I also ordered some shorts from Old Navy that I'm going to show you guys. So I got this pair. The old navy shorts were on sale these ones are mid-rise and they're pretty short but they they're not too too short and then i got these ones which are high rise now they're both size 14 these ones fit me these ones are i can't get them button they're a little tight but i think there's more spandex in this mix than there is in this mix. I think that's why. But they're not like extremely like too tight. I can barely just, if I sucked in, I could get them on, but I'm not going to do that to myself. So if I lose like a couple of pounds, I'll be okay. Like I'll be able to get them on no problem. But I do have another pair of white shorts, so I'm all good. So I'm not going to return the white shorts because I have a feeling I'm going to get into them in the summer. So we're just going to leave it alone, and I will get into them before the summer's over. That's my mission. They're not that bad. I Literally, if I lost five pounds, I'd probably get into them no problem, and that wouldn't take long for me to do if I put my mind to it. The big thing about working at home is I'm home to get stuff, and I'm sitting here, and if we have downtime on the... Like, because I'm in training right now, if we have downtime, I'm snacking. I got to stop that. That's the worst thing about, one of the worst things about working from home is you have access to your fridge. And if you're just sitting there, you can snack. Now, it is wise where I am a diabetic. I should have snacks through the day. But not, like, unhealthy snacks. So, and that's what I've been doing. So, I have to get some groceries and get some healthy snacks in here. Some fruit and stuff. But anyway, another thing that I'm going to show with you guys is my empties update for this month. I'm going to put it in vlogs because that's all I've been doing lately. So I'll get that stuff ready. I have to do some measurements and I'll come back and do all that for you guys. 
Okay guys, it might be a little difficult to do this with one hand, but we're going to try. I have my book here with all my stuff in it, information in it, and I can refer to that. We're going to start with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Last month it was 42 grams, this month it's 41 grams, so I have made some progress on this. My Catrice Foundation is finished! Yay! I finished a product! So there's one for the year. My con I didn't make much progress on this stuff again, guys. My concealer from Too Faced is the same. I did use it one time or two times, but I just, I don't use a lot of concealer these days, but we'll still truck on that and see if we can do it. I don't think there was any pa progress on my Mitt Mark Jacobs powder either. No, there wasn't. But I have been using it. Um, it just, sometimes the packaging is most of the weight but if you can see there it is getting down like it's about halfway through so we'll keep working on that this is my tart there was no progress on that i have used it but i i thought, figured this was going to be a give me product but it takes i didn't use it that many times but it takes long because i've been trying out new bronzers but it takes a long time to go through cream products i didn't think it did i accidentally put my finger down in that but that's what that looks like so we'll keep working on this. Um, the next thing is this Kaja blush. And guess what, guys? It's done. I don't know if it got old and dried out or what happened, but I was using it and I was getting product out of it. Hold on. But now it's like, and I flipped the sponge a few times, but look, there's barely anything coming off. Like, so, like, not enough to do my blush, so... I would consider that finished. So there's two products finished for this year. So that's pretty good. The next product is Champagne Pop. I've had to um, repress this a few times. So I don't know how many more times she's going to let me repress her. But we'll see. We're going to keep working on it. But there, I'm seeing pan in there again. And you can see it's it's cracking up again but you can see how low in the pan that is so i should be able to finish this by the time the year is over for sure but there's no weight progress in it i haven't been wearing makeup a lot i've been wearing foundation but i haven't been doing full faces so there's no measurements in that gone the next is my eos lip balm this one's gone as well gone i even scraped some out to put on my lips so that is my third pro product finished. Don't mind Tigger. He's scratching at the door. He wants in with us. So there's three products finished this month. Dominique Cosmetics. I haven't made any progress on that. I don't think I used it this month at all. So, And same with the Cinderella. And same with my Too Faced. Like I said, I haven't been wearing that much makeup. I've been testing new foundations. So when I'm sitting at my desk at work... Like before I start or whatever, I'll put foundation on my face and then I'll just leave it at that and test the foundation for the day. That's what I've been doing. And there is one that I've really been liking that I'll let you guys know when I further test it this week. So, um, but yeah, there's not really, I think I used this once as a powder this month. Like as a, hold on. Yeah, I used this once as a, my, like the, set my foundation but that was it so and i made that chip in it long ago that's not pan that doesn't count i uh dug into that accidentally with my fingernail but it i can almost feel like i can almost see the rims and it is dipping down a bit there must be quite a bit of powder in this so there hasn't been any progress in those now i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to be rolling in i'm going to put my empties back in this bag and put them away because I like to hold on to them for the year. I'm going to roll in a new foundation. I'm going to try to stick with the same categories. So I posted on Instagram this or that and you guys majority of the vote voted for this Fenty foundation so I'm going to roll that in which is good because I'm trying to use up foundations in my collection because <laughs> I'll show you guys my foundations are out of control and I was not supposed to buy and I've after been buying a powder foundation and three like liquidy foundations in the meantime so i gotta use up some foundation then for blush replacement 
you guys picked the Tinkerbell blush. This isn't that old to my collection, but you guys picked it, so we're going to use it. Neither one that I used was older. And I put cream blushes in there instead of powder because cream blushes, I know that I'm going to wear more than powder blushes because I just like them. And then since I used up a lip balm, I'm going to put this in. I've been using it since Christmas time, since I got it. And... I think I'll be able to use that up. I might even be able to use this up before the next update. So that is my, and I already put the weights in for these products. So the starting weight for the Fenty foundation is 134 grams. For the Tinkerbell blush is 27 grams. And for the Ice Belt Laneige Rung lip sleeping mask is 8 grams. So that's the starting weights for these guys. So that's what I'm rolling in. So I am still keep, I know I'm not really doing sit down videos, but I am 100% still trying to keep up with my project pan because it's something that I like. It challenges me. I don't know if I'm going to finish it this year because I had a bad few months with products, like with moving and stuff, and I just didn't wear any makeup at all. So I don't know if I'm going to finish and hit my goal of 22 products, but I'm at three, and it's what, May, the middle of May. So that's not too bad, I guess, because it could be worse, right? And some products, like I've been finishing up products in the meantime, too. I finished up a mini foundation yesterday, which I changed my mind on. I, I'll show you guys that when I do, like, an empties, when I get some empties. But I uh, liked the foundation when I first got it. And yesterday, I was not impressed with it. I fin But maybe it was older. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it changed. I don't know. But a lot of my foundations are getting older and out of control. So I have to... I have to start going through my foundations. This is all foundations and tinted stuff. So I have to start using this stuff up. I think I might, my goal, see I bought this recently. I got this recently and I got this recently and I got the e.l.f. the e.l.f. powder foundation recently. And I have a couple of powder foundations. But I don't have nearly as many primers and stuff. I don't think I purchased any new primers. But I'm on a foundation kick and I have to stop. But I think I'm going to finish off like my, um, try to finish my little tiny ones. Like I got this as a sample. I got this as a sample. I'm going to try to do those because I should be able to get those out of my collection relatively quick. And then I'll just work on the rest from there. But anyway, that was my update. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm going to call this one quits for today, for the week, for this vlog. Um, I know it's just been a lot of me showing you guys stuff, but hey, that's what the week was this week. So that's how it's going to be. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Take care of yourself and each other, and I'll talk to you guys all in the next one. Bye, everyone.